videos that you have and she's going to record it so anybody that didn't make it today will have Kathy put it out so that anybody can view it too, okay? <laughs> Right. Are you available for hire? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are. All right, first thing I'm going to show you is there's only a few basic tools you need when you're making a cardboard boat. Um, a straight edge, I like a level, but a piece of wood, anything straight, because a lot of times you're going to have to fold. And you want this there so you can get a nice even crease when you fold. Um, utility knife is absolute, and extra blades for cutting cardboard. You'll go through a lot of blades when you cut the cardboard. Um, tape measure if you want to be precise and a pencil to mark. And then, most important, all your seams, Gorilla or T-Rex tape, the wide stuff. I know it's a little bit more expensive, but just on your joints. This is important on your joints. If you use regular duct tape on your joints, your boat will fall apart. Guarantee it. Now you can use the regular for the skin on the inside and the out once you get your joints sealed with the T-Rex or the Gorilla tape. But this is, I found, very important. Um, I did this little mock-up here. The B hole is uh, what's won me most races. It's the fastest, it cuts through the water, and it will be in the water up to here when that was in. If this was full size, it would be that much into the water. So you kind of gotta, when you get in, your knees go to the sides, and you, that's how you get your balance. Um, on the bottoms, I taped egg cartons. Because if you just have one layer, your knees will go through it. All right, because you're, usually you're going to be kneeling. Some people sit crisscross, other people kneel. I like to kneel because you get up a little bit higher and you can really dig in with the paddle. Uh, so what I usually do is put egg cartons across the bottom and a piece of cardboard on top of that. And that gives you cushion so you don't put, poke through the bottom of the hole. Um, you can make it with any type of cardboard. I'm kind of showing you with smaller boxes. A lot of people have smaller boxes, how you can tape them together to get what you want. Uh, bigger boxes are better, of course. But like on this, the smaller ones, I took the two boxes and cut them, and then I interwove the flaps together. That bot, that base right there, if you pick these sides up, is big enough for three people to get in once you add some extra sides and things like that. Like a flat bottom, like a John boat, if you know what you're talking about there. Those work too pretty well, and they're, they're actually more stable than those. All right, so when you do that, like I said, you will take your, uh, your Gorilla tape, and all these joints you are gonna put a seam across, every single one, both sides. That'll give you the strength that you need for it to last. And that's it, once you get that, and you can put your skin on and what color, you guys know there's a million colors of duct tape, print, styles, all kinds. So save that for your pretty decorative at the end, but use this stuff on all your joints. Uh, so you do that. I'm good at tearing it, but you might want to cut it and have somebody help you cut the tape. But as you put it down, Go on one side and kind of use your fingernails and go right there at that seam. Make sure that gets down tight. All right, that's another key because that's where all the water comes in. I'm going to show you real quick a kind of whole configuration. So, you've never seen a whole flat. So when you go up like this, what you want to do is keep it at an angle. You want to break through the water. So once again, you would put that up. You can be more precise if you want, but I'm just doing it quickly. Tape that down. And when you have a weird angle, rip the tape in two pieces and it'll go around the thing. Do the same thing over here. Sorry. Fold that up and that gives you your basic kind of John boat design, flat bottom boat. And that'll get you through most race is pretty good. And then what you do with on the sides is you just add a couple more pieces of cardboard, like cut one of those in half, fold it over, tape it into place, that'll give you your sides. Because when you get in it, no matter how big you make it, about a third of your boat's gonna be under the water. All right, so that's the area you heavily wanna focus in on is the bottom third. Uh, I've seen people do tape the whole inside, you don't really have to. Just make sure the whole outside, the bottom especially, is taped. That's the key. Uh, also, I would recommend when you do it, don't use a canoe paddle, use a kayak paddle. You get more of a reach and you get more of a dig with that. But you can see how quickly the basic design can come together. 
go down. I mean, like I said, once you get this all taped up and put a piece on the back, you can get three people in this with ease. And then what I would do is take the eight curtains, place them down across. I don't know if you can't, or you can just put two or three layers of cardboard or something. Because when you kneel on that in the water, you will put so much pressure that the water, any water you get in there will create it. It'll mess or uh, dissolve it instantly. So I do that and then I put a piece of cardboard on top. So when you kneel on that, it creates a barrier from the bottom of the thing. I didn't have cardboard on top, that's why I crushed that one. <laughs> but uh, like I said, it's all really a folding. See, I would cut this in half and then fold this over the sides and tape all those joints and interweave on the, I'll show you real quick. Build up your sides. Kind of weave it together again. You see, you can take that up and you already got it definitely tall enough for a size. You have to write it across. I mean, where you're going to be kneeling? Just even underneath of it. No, I just get your basic hole design and you can add anything to it. Um, so on the bottom, I definitely always put at least two or three layers on the inside. So when you're kneeling, you're not going to poke through. But I guarantee you this will take a lot of duct tape. So... Yeah, yeah. Uh, I would like to go to Home Depot or Lowe's. They got like the nine or eight. Amazon Prime Day. Yeah. <laughs> together and then it's a matter of just reinforcing all your seams that's the big key with the really good tape and then when it gets up to like that what I usually do is either take my straight edge make it even across the top and wing it so it's just a typical height yeah, this is a good height right here. This will cruise through the water. Like I said, you'll be up to about, probably about here in it, in the water. So, and when you get in, the trick is to try to get your knees as close to the sides of the hole as you can, right? So when you're going, okay? That's the key. This is, actually I've seen a lot of them come close to beating you at this time. But I prefer the V-hole just because it cuts through the water a lot faster and a lot easier. And you'll get through it, but your horse powering through it. So the kids are doing it and they're in that one, so they sit pretty easy? Yes. So I have actually in the past uh, concrete tubes or mailing tubes. An outrigger? Yep, yeah, put them on the side, kind of like little outriggers, and it gives you a lot more stability right at the water lines. And you got to imagine about a third of the boat's going to be below, so that's where you want to replace those on the side of the hole. That smoke's coming. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, this is the basic design. It comes up quickly and you, then you can do whatever adornments on it. Uh, I created a frog boat last year. My daughter wanted that. And so I had arms coming out the sides, leg and out the back. And then we had a big frog head with eyes and everything on the front. 
and they almost disqualified us because I used styrofoam for the eyes, but it wasn't something to help it float, so we were able to keep it, but it was just a decorative measure. But See, the year before I did a design like this, and we did, we won again, but it was a lot slower than the other years. In the first year we did a pink unicorn and it was not, once again like that, and it was, we smoked it. But this will win you. <laughs> it's just a matter of digging in in the power. But uh, like I said, on the bottom, eight cartons are a good tip I've learned over the years. Teach your kids how to paddle. Our daughter the first year <laughs> tried paddling to paddle this way. <laughs> I was like, no. um, also, if you're in that, my kids tried to tip us over when we had won the race because they thought it would be funny to go into the lake. It wasn't, but they tipped us over. But uh, that's just another, like I said, I like that design the best, the V-hole. It's harder to make, it takes a lot longer. This is easier to make, and you can add your adornments to it, or whatever you want to, you know, best of, best of show or whatever. But they're both are great boats, and they'll both get you across the finish line. Yeah, you watch the fastest. Hey, what is the ultimate goal? Um, we're gonna have age group categories and adult categories. So we'll have first and second place in each age group. We'll also have a Titanic Award for best sinking, and we'll have a, a basically a best of show. And then um, we're also doing a judge's bribe. So they'll do bribes to the judges for the pool fund and to pay for the awards. Um, if you want to bribe the judges to see who wins that one, we'll have a, trophies and medals is basically what we'll be giving out. And bragging rights, trust yep. me, I like the bragging rights. That's my personal favorite. Wait, what's the bragging rights? Bragging rights mean you won. You get to go, I won! <laughs> okay, I won. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I won. <laughs> <laughs> you guys got any more any other questions I can answer? Alright, and I'm always available for questions too. So you can always ask me. <laughs> thank you. You're very welcome. Yeah, thanks for coming. It, trust me, it, it's a blast and, and uh, Somebody, ultimately somebody will bring like a big washer or dryer box and just tape the bottom of it and they'll get in, the, and that, that's the best because that's the Titanic yeah. Award. They get in, they try to lean over the paddle and it's... So. Have you watched that video that's attached in the newsletter? 